different audience members. Now, Brian hasn't seen these, and more importantly, none of the experts have seen these. So they will only hear their expertise when Brian chooses to introduce them on his talk show. You betcha. <laughs> our special show just before daybreak. I know it's kind of early at 3 a.m., but you've got nowhere else to be. So you might as well be here. Now let's get right to it. We have lots and lots of special guests today to talk, us about, talk to us about the holidays. That's right. Um, first, we're going to bring out Richard Cranium. Mr. Richard Cranium, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Um, now, Richard, I understand that you have a very, very special expertise in the holiday season. I sure do. I would like for you to tell us about your nylon ornament making. Nylon ornament making? Yes. Well, you see, as a scientist, I've been trying to find ways to recycle and save the earth. Uh-huh. So, very important. Yes. This time of year, be thinking about it. Yesterday it was 80, today it's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, that you all killed trees on the way here, I know you did. So what I've done is uh, every, season, every season, I go into my mother's panty drawer. Yes. Uh, and I get the ones that are slightly stained and start to make ornaments. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Have, have you been able to find a tree to make one? Oh, anything. Anything. Uh, you, the first you start just with some bulbs. You know, just rather, you know, bulbs. And you can dip them in dyes, add the puffy paint, and just hang them on the tree. I see. The one that's made out of recycled paper. No real trees. Killing more trees, aren't you? Bitches. Um, <laughs> no, but that's, that's how I started. I um, I've gotten more intense with some sewing, hot glue, mm -hmm. um, tying knots, and um, making little almost Santas. You know? Now, did this, did this fascination with the nylons come from your sick and disturbing fascination with your mother? Or <laughs> just because you have a lot of good time on your hands? Uh huh, yep. Very nice yeah. for you. Very good. Well, Richard, thank you so much for sharing with us. Oh, your we're, we're, we're done. We are I'm done. Not interesting to you. Not even a little bit. You <laughs> have hands. I'd like to introduce our next guest at this time. She's a lovely young woman. I'm sure you all know her. Her name is Andy Hall. She comes to us from Kansas, and she's going to be talking talking to us today about candy cane striping. Yeah. Andy Hall, everybody. Candy cane striping. Yes. Exciting. It is. It's, it's, it's exciting. It's, it's, it's very ex exciting. It's, 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 it's very enamoring. And it, it, it's so sweet around the holiday sure. season. Yes, it is. It you is. know, um, the way that we try to do it is you get a big pot of boiling water, and then you try to put lobsters in, but you pop them on the floor and you chase them around. And when you find the lobster behind the refrigerator, there's usually a candy cane or two from last year. Yes. So you, you, you put the candy canes in and then kind of melt them down, and then they become this kind of pale pink emulsion type thing. And then, and then you pull them out and you let them cool for just a little bit. Uh -huh. And then you roll them and you roll them and you roll them and stretch them. Sure, of course. And then you bend them. Bend, yes. You stretch and bend and, and stretch and bend. Yes. yes. And then comes the striping. Now please, I think every year people take the stripes on their candy canes too much for granted. You know, there are so many different ways. There's the wide stripe. Yes. There's the wide flanked by two thin stripes. My <laughs> and there's also the green and the red for the more advanced. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes. but um, my favorite is the, the thick stripe with the two delicate edges on the, on the end. Very I nice. feel that it's a little yes. bit has a little bit more flair and personality, sure. but isn't over the top and garish like multicolored ones. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes. So what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of Sharpie. Uh -huh. Now you would think that that is a thing, so. but really it just makes you giggle. <laughs> <laughs> and you hold it on your finger and you just kind of get it right here and then you take the candy cane and you just twist. And you twist and you twist and you twist and you twist. And you twist. Now, now you'll get a thick line like that. What do I do for the thin lines? Please tell us. Uh, my cocaine nail. 
Wonderful Christmas, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye!